guys, welcome once again to the channel. Today we're going to be fixing the Mavic Mini drone. I don't know if you guys remember from a while ago my girlfriend crashed this. We were out at Macclesfield Forest um, doing the usual flights, all that other stuff, and for some reason she ended up having a bit of a glitch whether it was pilot error or it was some kind of software related issue the end result was that she crashed the drone um, and she's broke her front arm the end result was that she's crashed it into a tree and it went tumbling down and I'll put the clip on for you now so you can have a quick view of that but uh, yeah she ended up crashing it into a tree and she broke her front arm as you can see so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to disassemble this and replace this front arm i've got a brand new uh front arm it's an official one i got this for about 18 pound off ebay um most other places that want to charge to fix this are charging somewhere in the region of 100 to 150 pound that's with the parts and labor now i don't want to pay that so i decided that i'm going to go and fix it myself um i've not really done any soldering before well i have but i failed miserably at it so what i'm going to do today's attempt on my very basic soldering skills is to take this arm off and put this one on and then we'll test it and see if it's working fine. So wish me luck and I hope that this video shows how easy it can be to replace and repair your Mavic Mini drone um, with basic skills and understanding of soldering. So let's get to it shall we? So what I've got here today is a basic soldering kit. I bought it off eBay for about £25-30 um you've got your soldering iron here um you get this plunger in the kit which it's to basically pull off solder that's you if you put too much solder on you can heat the solder up and then plunge that down put this on and then it sucks up the solder so I may need to use this. You get some soldering wire with it, a um, couple of plier tweezer things um, for intricate cable management, shall we call it. Now, I've also, coincidentally, I just managed to find a guitar pick so I can pry off the top shell and all the other bits that I need to without actually damaging the plastics because it's quite brittle plastic. So. I've got the most important things here, which is the soldering kit. I've also got one of the most important things, which is coffee, to see me through. You always need coffee with you, so before you start anything, make yourself a brew and you're good to go. So let's get on with this and we'll see how it does at the end of it. So firstly, you need to remove the gimbal cover. Uh, the screwdriver that you get here with the Mavic Mini, it's the same screwdriver that you need for all the screws. It's gonna basically do every job on this Mavic Mini. So there's no need to worry, you just need one screwdriver. And as you can see, just undo all the screws on the bottom side of the undercarriage, all four screws, take them out. It's easier if you move the propellers. Um, they just got in the way, so I remove them, and it makes life a bit easier when you're trying to uh, take the, bod the body, the top shell and bottom shell off. So go ahead and remove the propellers, and it will make life easier for you. As you can see, I've already started to uh, pull the top part off. Now, you kind of have to get it from the, the front of the body. 
and with the guitar pick as you can see right now it's good to get that in first and just pry it off but the guitar pick's not flexible enough it's not sturdy enough sorry to uh, get in and actually pull the top shell off so I used a flathead screwdriver and just be gentle take your time because the chances are you're going to put too much pressure on you're going to break the body because it's quite brittle plastic so just working with the guitar pick and then as you see it comes off undo the two screws at the back of the battery compartment this will then release the um, undercarriage part of the drone again use the guitar pick or something of the sort that's that's light and flexible i had to peel away the um the decal because it was overlapping slightly and i couldn't get it off so use a guitar pick just pry it in there nice and gentle you can see there that it's it's quite soft malleable plastic so just go easy with it pry it away if you have any difficulty get the flathead screwdriver or something of the sort just to pry it away a bit more but chances are the guitar pit is going to work for you fine on this bit just take your time take it easy and be gentle and it just comes away Now there's three screws on the heat sink, two at the top and one in the middle. Go ahead and remove those. You might need a pair of needle nose tweezers just to get the screws out. And under that white sticker in the middle, that's where your third screw is. So go ahead and remove that. It'll expose the third screw. Undo the screw and the heat sink should just come away now. As you can see here, you've got the antenna wire. Um, go ahead and remove that with the needle nose tweezers. Be careful not to damage the circuit board. It should just come away. Next you want to take off the, the pin that goes through the joint on the arm. Now remove the two screws and then on the other side you'll see that pin. Just push it through and it should come out easy. Whatever position you start in, you need to put the drone's arm back in the same position. The glue on this bit um, it's quite tricky to get off take a bit of pressure just go easy on it and then you want to remove the grey wire out of the channeling and the next thing is to desolder the wires when you're desoldering don't put too much pressure on because um, it gets hot very quickly and the last thing you want to do is burn the circuit board so just keep feathering it on until it melts and then you can pull off the wires quite easy. Then you need to remove the arm and replace it with the new one, making sure you put it in the right orientation. Now with these wires, make sure that you put them in um, and, and situate them down. Put in the arm, pin back in so you're not moving the arm when you're trying to solder it just fixes everything with the gray wire it's best to run the red white and black wire underneath and put the gray wire over them because when you pull that when when you pull the wire through into the channel it will then pull the wires down so they're not in the way when you go to put the body back on so fitting this in into the channel put it over the wires as you can see feed the grey one into that little channel push the other wires down 
pull it through and by pulling it through you're also pulling the wires that you need to solder back on down so they don't get in the way when you replace the body. You might need to bend the wires round a little bit because they're a bit straight and you need to sort of manipulate them in a way so they fit round. The same with this grey wire. It takes a bit of work getting it round but you can use the needle nose tweezers and turn it round so it when it relaxes back it's facing downwards. One of the problems I was having was fitting it on and it being too stiff that it wouldn't sit right. So I had to basically turn it, overturn it, so that when it relaxed, it the, the channel was facing down and it's quite easy to put back in. Soldering the wires again, just go easy. Don't leave your soldering iron on there too long because you, you risk burning the circuit board here I've just tinned up the uh, end of the soldering iron and what that does is it just allows a bit of a better heat transfer instead of holding the soldering iron on you get more heat transfer if you wet the tip of the um, soldering iron now replace the heat sink put the screws back in and everything is simply a reverse of what you did to disassemble it. Make sure that they're just hand tight, you don't need to over tighten them. Then replace the undercarriage. Again, go easy, be gentle. It should just all snap back into place. Make sure it's all flush. Replace the screws. Just do them hand tight, there's no need to over tighten them as you risk threading the, um, the plastics that they're sitting into. Once they're in, tuck your wires in. You don't want them getting away when you're replacing the body. Again, be gentle, it should just all clip back into place. Make sure that everything is situated and everything's flush. Once that's done, you can then go ahead and you can put all the screws back into the undercarriage. There's four of them. Again, just do it so it's hand tight. You don't need to over tighten it. You might need to use the needle nose things to get them in because they're non-magnetic screws. Hand tight, you're good. Stick yourself a new pair of propellers on each of the motors when you do make sure you flush don't over tighten them don't thread it and then when you're finished make sure there's a bit of movement and play in the propellers and then you know that they've been put on right once this is done you can stick a battery in, turn it on, and then go and take it out for a test flight. And it's that simple. Take off.
so there you go guys it's all finished it's all working um, pretty pleased did a semi okay job but got it working that's the main thing um, it flies it's all working in order now I can sell it and I can sell my other Mavic Mini too um, finally plucked up the courage to do it and I fixed it so yeah good job I think all around I'm not gonna lie I was a bit nervous about fixing it um, but I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and I finally plucked up the courage to just get to it really and start soldering but I've never really as I say I've never really soldered before so it was a bit of a daunting experience and putting it off as long as I did I was just it was an itch that I needed to just get scratched and uh, yeah so I'm glad I'm sure my girlfriend's gonna be glad so now we can sell it sell me with a Mavic Mini and um, yeah move onwards and upwards but thanks for watching I appreciate the uh, likes and subscribes and hopefully I'll see you on the next one bye bye